tale some of you have heard before, but for those of you who haven't, I had the opportunity to sing this to the woman who inspired this song, though she has not been with us for 500 years. When I was a young woman trying to find my place in the world, my friends talked of excitement, of married life to come, and children, and, and a house of their own. It didn't resonate the same way with me. I guess I knew even then that I had a different path to walk, broader horizons to see. And while I celebrated with them that they had found a path that suited them, I kept looking for my own. And so I looked in books, I looked in old tales. And one of those old tales was about a 16-year-old French peasant girl by the name of Jeanne de Joan. She was destined for the same things as any other young woman of her time, motherhood, perhaps a, a life in a convent serving as a sister of God. But she heard voices, and those voices told her that she was destined to be a warrior, that she should present herself to the Dauphin of France and tell him that she, by the grace of God, would lead his armies into victory over the invading English unheard of for a woman of the time, but she did as her voice had been. She knelt before the prince of all France herself, and she told him her message. And the prince of France took one look at this girl and went, oh, that's nice, sweetie, go ahead. <laughs> Darned if she didn't. And this was no girl on a hill, exhorting the fighter. She was wounded in battle, she was in armor, she was there in the thick of it. And she did lead that army into victory after victory. But she was eventually captured and handed over to the English who still held the keep of Rouen up on the coast. For the last few months of her life, she was kept in a round dungeon tower which is now a museum in Rouen. And I had the opportunity to stand by myself in the stone stairwell of that keep knowing that Joan of Arc's feet had walked those steps day after day. I felt the hairs go up at the back of my neck, and so I sat there and I sang this quietly for her, wondering if she was listening. This is for Joan, and all of her contradictions, light and dark. 